Good afternoon, everyone. This is Melissa Armour with the Stock Swish, and I'm doing the GAT reviews for the day. This was KR. It, 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 it had a move in the morning, and then it just popped right over it. And the funny thing is, look, it didn't really go up, and it didn't really go down. It just flatlined all day. It was a bust. So let's look at this. It had one fat red bar into the open, broke, looked good. You were probably didn't even see what money you were at before it flipped, did you? No. <laughs> it was like 20 it. cents, yeah. Yes. Here it was broke, and then immediately did, and then it didn't stop out here. You killed it, and then it, it stopped out here. And then it said, forget it. Wasn't right, wasn't right, wasn't right. So that was an immediate loss. Then we went and flipped, looked at this, missed the first entry of this one. This was OPK. This was a nice gap. And you ended up doing this and holding it all day. So here was the first century, except for we, none of us were watching it. So then we saw this, and then I thought, it's going to back up, it's going to back up, it's going to back up. But then it, it never did. It opened, dropped. This was the low of the day that happened in the first 10 minutes of the day. Look at that, 714. Yeah. Kept thinking it was going to go back down there, but never did. Had a huge lift up. Okay, you were in it short here. You took a little bit more. And here you were up 700 some dollars. You waited it out all day. You tried to be patient. You tried, 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 tried. And you ended up getting out of this today with 300 bucks, which was not as good as the afternoon or the lunchtime, but it had the potential. Once it started to lift up here, though, the longer it takes, the longer you have to go, the longer you have to go to the $7 number. And then I said, that's not going to happen. And then the longer you have to go to the low of the day. Yeah. And then you did have the market. You did have the market, which did help this. Let's see where the market closed. Let's see if the market's gapping down right now, actually. No, not really, but the, I don't know where the market does tomorrow, but we could gap down tomorrow. So if we gap down tomorrow, um, I think this kind of just flatlines here for a little while, but the market could fall tomorrow if we gap down. But the, this could have fallen in the afternoon. It just didn't. So I think it's fine. You're up 700, get out 300. I think that was a nice you know, recovery to flip around because you were in this for a while. You gave it a shot. If it went to 714, you would have made 1600 bucks. Yes. If it had gone to seven, you would have made 2350. Yes. And you know, you still would have made your goal for the day. So you just never know. You just never know. And then you added to the target. This fell yesterday. Hell today really didn't go anywhere. Almost was it was a doji actually. It was the high in this today it was 52, not even a buck. This could gap down tomorrow. This could gap down tomorrow and end up being a nice short, a brand new gap actually tomorrow if it gaps down. If the market gaps down and this gaps down or this could break the low in here and break that number. <clears throat> I don't think this uh, recovers from the day of the gap. Right. And that's why I said if you want, you could add to this today to take your normal size. Yes. Because it fell yesterday, almost broke. The market was really bullish yesterday. Today this held. And if the market falls tomorrow, this will break again. And you've got 30 contracts in this, which is 3,000 shares. So again, if this goes to 57.50, what are you going to be up? No, 56.50. If this goes to 56.50 and your strike is 57, what are you going to make in this tomorrow? You're going to make 1,500 bucks. Yes. So that would be 80 cents under the low there. Yes. So that's not crazy. No, it's not. It's Ooh. not crazy at all. I mean, that's not even a crazy number. If it goes to 56, you'll be up how much? Your brain is fried. <laughs> Your rain is fried from trading all day. But if, if you so make a dollar in this, if you make a buck in this, what will you be up? A dollar in the money. Target. That's what it goes. I bet you end up making three grand in your last day here. Three thousand. I bet you. And I just realized tomorrow's your last day. Nice. I bet you do. Because I think the market's going to gap down. And I think a lot of things that are weak are going to gap down with it. And Target's one of them. Wouldn't that be great if you made three grand your last day? Super. Yeah, in an option. Absolutely. Yeah. So this was the all the plays and trades today, and the market looks like it could gap down tomorrow, and we'll see what it does. Good luck, everyone. We'll see tomorrow how everyone in the room did with this secondary trade. Some people may have redone it. Some people may have stayed with it all day like Phillips. Some people may have got out of it in the lunchtime period, which was the low drop in here. It couldn't break that 731 area, 730-ish. So good luck, everyone, and I'll see you in the room tomorrow morning. Email me at melissa at thestockswish.com for more information.